So today we're going to be discussing direct and indirect speech. Direct and indirect speech. That is going to be our discussion for the day. Now, let us start with the direct speech. This area is tested in several ways. Number one, it is tested in several ways. Number one, we talk about correct punctuation. Correct punctuation, where you will be required to select a sentence in the direct speech that is correctly punctuated. You will be required to select a sentence in the direct speech that is correctly punctuated. And while dealing with this, you need to be conversant with the following areas. One, direct speech with the initial reporting verb direct speech with the initial reporting verb. Two, direct speech with the medial reporting verb. And three, direct speech with the final reporting verb. So we're going to be discussing the three elements of uh, correct punctuation in a short while. So the first, uh, mode of testing is testing on correct punctuation of a statement in the direct speech. Remember, a statement in the direct speech is a statement in which we have words that we are spoken by someone else. And those words that were spoken by someone else are usually put in between speech marks or quotation marks. Number two, this area can also be tested in meaning where the examiner can say which of the following means the same as the given statement meanings so which one means the same as the given statement however when you're asked to give a statement that means the same as the given statement in the direct speech then you are merely required to rewrite that statement in the indirect speech so that will take us to the indirect speech so when you, the examiner talks about one that means the same, he is merely asking you to rewrite the sentence in the indirect speech. So let me begin with correct punctuation. Correct punctuation. And uh, we start with uh, the direct speech with the initial reporting verb. Direct speech with the initial reporting verb. So the first thing we need to know here is how to identify the reporting verb. And of course, the reporting verb is the part of the statement or part of the speech that tells us the speaker. Therefore, you will have such words as said Peter. So you have a noun and a verb, the verb said usually, or any other verbs that tell us the speaker of the sentence. So you'll have words such as said Peter, shouted Karanja, uh, uh, requested John, uh, exclaimed the girl, etc., etc. So those are the parts that we call the reporting verbs. So when the reporting verb comes first before the direct speech, then we say it is the initial reporting verb. We say it is the initial reporting verb. So if you have a statement in the initial reporting verb with the initial reporting verb, then you need to be aware that the punctuation should be, should be, one, the reporting verb begins with a capital. So you start with capital. So you can be writing capital letter, capital letter. Capital letter. So I said start with a capital letter, which means the reporting verb starts with a capital letter. After the reporting verb comes a comma. 
after the reportive verb comes a comma. After the comma comes opening speech marks. Opening speech marks. Opening speech marks. After the opening speech marks, then the speech, the speech that you're talking about or the one that you want to write starts with a capital letter. The capital letter. Then, of course, the statement will follow. The statement you have will follow. Then at the end of the statement, you will have a full stop or you'll have a question mark or a question mark or a full stop or an exclamation mark. And then after that, you will close. So you start the reporting verb with a capital letter. After the reporting verb, a comma. After the comma, open. After opening, statement begins with a capital letter, after which the final punctuation will either be a question mark, will be a question mark, or a full stop or an exclamation mark and then you will close and then you will close example 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 the boy asked that is capital t the boy asked, the boy asked, comma, open, capital letter, how old are you? How old are you? Remember the reporting verb is asked, therefore our statement will end with how does our statement end, Ivan? Which punctuation do we have at the end? Ivan? Yes, which punctuation do we end with? Question mark. Question mark. Thank you, Ivan. So, question mark, because it's a question. And then after the question mark, we will close. So, the boy asked, How old are you? It is important for you to note the punctuation marks. It is important for you to note the punctuation marks. Now, let me try another one. Punctuate this one. Punctuate this one. Uh, Peter said. Peter said. Peter said. Peter said. What pretty or what long hair you have? What long hair you have? Uh -huh. Peter said, what long hair you have? What long hair you have? Who wants to answer the question? Washira, start your camera. Washira, start your camera and join with audio. Come on. Yes, and connect to audio. Yes, please answer my question. Good morning, uh, Mr. Washira. You are mute, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute, yes, thank you. Good morning. Just wanted to know whether you have started. Oh, thank you, thank you. We have started, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome to continue with us. Now, uh, let us continue. Ivan, what is the correct punctuation? Peter said, what long hair you have? Try. Peter? P, capital P. 
Uh -huh. Peter said, comma. Yes. Opening speech marks. Uh -huh. Capital W. Correct. What long hair you have. Uh -huh. Full stop. Uh -huh. Max. Uh -huh. Full stop then. Closing speech marks. Good. Closing. Good. You have tried, but there's a mistake somewhere. There's a mistake. Now, if you said, what long hair you have? Is that a question? What long hair you have? Is that a question? Bridget, do you have a different yeah. idea? Bridget? Peter, capital P. Correct. Peter said, comma. Uh -huh. Opening speech marks. Yes. Capital W. Uh -huh. What long hair you have? Uh -huh. Exclamation mark, closing speech marks. An exclamation mark, correct. An exclamation mark. That is because when you say what long hair you have, that is expressing an emotion. We are merely admiring the hair. We are merely appreciating the length of the, of the hair. We are not asking a question. So therefore, you end with an exclamation mark. You end with an exclamation mark, Ivan. Eh? Ivan, make that correction. End with an exclamation mark. So it is important that you look at the statement alongside the reporting verb. So sometimes the reporting verb does not guide you as to the final punctuation, but the statement itself will guide you as to the correct punctuation. So Peter said, comma, opening speech mark, capital, what long hair you have, exclamation mark, and then closing speech marks, closing speech marks. Finally, on this area, try this one. The boy shouted. The boy shouted. The boy shouted. The boy shouted. The boy shouted, watch out, watch out. The boy shouted, watch out, snake, watch out, snake. Uh-huh, correct punctuation? The boy shouted, watch out, snake. What is the correct punctuation? Hope. Are you ready? <laughs> Hope looks surprised. Uh, Ivan Lea, Ivan Lea, try. I see you are smiling. Yes, what's the correct punctuation, Lea? Run away. Jen? Jen? Unmute yourself. Come on. Yes. Capital letter T. Capital letter T, correct. The boy shouted. The boy shouted. Comma. 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 Yes. Opening speech marks. Opening speech marks. Capital letter W. Capital letter Capital W. Letter w. Watch, watch out. Watch out. Snake. Snake. Exclamation mark. Where do you have the exclamation mark? Yes, pardon. Where do you have the exclamation mark? After the snake. After snake. Uh -huh. So after snake, we have an exclamation mark. Then we follow with? Then closing speech marks. Closing speech marks. Now, Jane, let me ask you a question. Suppose you saw a snake. Would you say, watch out, snake? Is that how you'd speak? Now, which part is expected to cut the person? No. This is a warning. So would you say, watch out, snake? Is that how you'd speak? Where is the warning? Which part is expected no. to cut the attention? Eh? Before the snake.
Before the snake, before the snake. You see? I'm waiting for you, Jane. Yes? Yes, what are you supposed to say? Capital letter T, the boy shall comma, yes. opening speech marks. Yes. Capital letter W, yes. watch out. Uh -huh. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. That is where it should be. So watch out. That is the warning. Watch out. That is where you have your, your warning. You say, watch out. Watch Exclamation. Out. Then after that. Watch out. Correct. Then snake. Watch out. Exclamation mark. Then after, after exclamation mark, you don't start with a capital. Instead, you start with a small letter. Okay. Then you say snake. There's the exclamation mark there. You have your full stop after snake and then you close. So watch out. Snake. Yes, you have an exclamation ending. So snake and then full stop and close. So where you are warning, that is where the exclamation is written. That is where the exclamation is written. So I hope that is clear that you're not saying watch out snake so i hope you take that uh you take that into account the next thing we look at now is uh, the second area which is direct speech with the final reporting verb so let's go to the final reporting verb i'll give room for questions as soon as uh, we are through with these few areas direct speech with the final reporting verb or maybe we can wind this up. Do you have a question on uh, initial reporting verb? Any question? Initial reporting verb. Nah, good. So the final reporting verb. The final reporting verb now implies that the reporting verb comes after the statement or comes after the speech. It comes after the speech. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we are going to have the reporting verb coming last. So in this case now, we are going to have, first of all, the opening speech mark that will come first. So let us look at the progression. We're going to have the opening speech mark. Opening speech mark. Then after the opening speech mark, we'll start with a capital letter. A capital letter. Then, of course, the statement will continue. The statement will follow. After that statement, you will end with a question mark or we'll end the question mark or an exclamation mark or you will end with a full stop a question mark or an exclamation mark or a full stop or a full stop then after that we have the closing speech max after that, we have the closing speech marks. Now, after the closing speech marks comes the testing point, an area where we have a lot of uh, controversy. The books have different uh, explanations as to the same. But this is the right thing. After the closing speech mark, then you start your reporting verb with a small letter. After the closing speech marks, you start your reporting verb with a small letter, with a small letter, unless it is a proper noun, unless it is a proper noun. So you start your reporting verb with a small letter. And of course, after the reporting verb, you will come with the final punctuation, which will be a full stop. Now take note, children. After the reporting verb comes, a small letter whether the statement ends in a question mark or an exclamation mark or a comma when you're using the final reporting verb after the reporting verb comes a small letter take for example take for example take for example opening speech marks opening speech marks go away so capital g go away Go away. Ex 
exclamation mark. Then close. Shouted, shouted the man. Shouted the man. So my statement will be, opening speech mark, capital G, go away, exclamation mark, closing speech mark, small letter S, shouted the man, final punctuation, full stop. That is very important, so that you're not getting confused along the way. So go away, shouted the man. Go away, shouted the man. Go away, shouted the man. You can take another one. For example, how old are you? How old are you? Asked Peter. How old are you? Asked Peter. How old are you? Asked Peter. Yes, you can give me the correct punctuation here. How old are you? Asked Peter. Yes. How old are you? Asked Peter. Yes, who is trying? Liz? Liz? Answer the question. What is the correct punctuation here? How old are you? Asked Peter. Liz is not speaking. Amy? Opening speech marks. How old are you? How old are you? What happens to the H? Capital H. Capital H, correct. Then how old are you? Comma, comma. Question mark. Question mark. Uh huh. Closing speech mark. Closing speech mark. Ask Peter. Capital letter A. You are not listening to me. You are not listening to me. How old are you? Asked Peter. Who was listening? Amy was not listening. Who was listening? Amy has made a mistake. She says capital letter A at asked. Is that right? You have said not the reporting verb. Uh, on the final reporting verb, the reporting verb starts with a small letter unless it is a proper noun. The reporting verb starts with a small letter unless it is a proper noun. Amy, is that clear? Yes. The reporting verb starts with a small letter unless it is a proper noun. Unless it is a proper noun. For example, hooray, hooray, shouted the boys. Hooray, shouted the boys. So you're going to have Opening speech mark, capital H, hooray, hooray, exclamation mark, close, small letter S, shouted the boys. Final punctuation, full stop. So take note of this. This was tested in the year 2010. It was tested in the year 2010, and many pupils uh, uh, got it wrong. The reporting verb, I know you have this in the books, the reporting verb always starts with a small letter. So you ignore the books that tell you otherwise. Any question up to that point? Any question up to that point? 
Any question up to that point? Any question up to that point? No question. Good. If there is no question, then let me move to the final one, which is the direct speech with the medial reporting verb. Direct speech with the medial reporting verb. 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 I'm unable to use my word, so I'm using the chat. So you can look at the chat if you if you don't have anything to if, if you have a, a confusion on spelling or something there. So you can uh, I'm using my chat because I am unable to use word. Something is wrong with my my machine. I'll uh, correct it shortly. So the medial reporting verb. Now in this case, the word medial suggests middle. The word medial suggests middle. So therefore, when we say medial reporting verb, it means that the reporting verb is in the middle of the given statements. In this case, the reporting verb, in this case, the reporting verb is in the middle. In this case, the reporting verb is in the middle of two statements. And, and this one is very confusing. It's very confusing. So I would like you to really be careful. Be careful as you deal with this area. So let me try you with one and see if you can get it right. Take for example, I say, uh, Jane, if I say Jane, write this statement, Jane said, mother is a lazy girl. Remember we have said, the word medial suggests middle. So in this case, the reporting verb is in the middle of two statements. It is in the middle. That means there is a statement to the left and a statement to the right. And the medial verb stands in between the two. So it is important as you are dealing with a statement to take note of that. So in the statement, Jen said, mother is a lazy girl. One, look at the semantics. Look at the syntax of the statement. Is it making sense the way you are going to punctuate it? So who can punctuate Jen said mother is a lazy girl for us? Who can punctuate that? If you want to try, guide us. Even Lair. Even Lair. Try. Even Lair. Try. And do it yourself, Yvonne. Come on. Yvonne, unmute yourself. You are mute. Good. Now speak. Opening speech, Mac. Opening speech, Mac. Yes. Jen said, uh -huh. comma, comma, opening speech mark. How did you start? Start, start, start afresh. Opening speech marks. Opening speech marks first. Uh -huh. Jen said. Comma. Comma. Good. <laughs> oh. 
seeing you. Yes? That is a lazy girl. Uh. Uh, full stop. Yvonne, Yvonne, you are lying to me. Yvonne. Yvonne, Lea, you are lying. Yvonne, Lea, look at your punctuation again. Look at your punctuation again. Who wants to try? Amy, try. Opening speed marks. Louder, please. Mother. Uh -huh. Close. Don't change the statement. The statement remains as it is. You have only been requested to punctuate, not to rewrite. Punctuate. Come on. <laughs> You're stuck. Uh, let me have uh, Ivan. Ivan, Amy is stuck. Help Amy. Huh? Ivan, I can't hear you. The network is breaking. Your network is breaking. Jen? Jen Mugomba. Concentrate. Yes. Punctuate Jen. Capital J. Capital J. Jen said. Jen said. Jen said. Uh -huh. Opening speech mark. Uh -huh. Capital M. Uh -huh. Mother is a lazy girl. Uh -huh. Full stop. Uh -huh. Speech marks. Close the speech marks. <laughs> Good. Good. You have tried. That clap is for trying. For trying, eh? <laughs> you have tried. But now, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question, uh, Jen. Jen. Now, who is lazy here? Is it, is it possible for you to say mother is a lazy girl? Mother. Is mother a girl? Can mother be a girl? Can mother be a girl? Yes. Mother can be a girl. So you, Jane, can yes. say that your mother is a lazy girl, right? No. Yeah, it's not possible. So, whom do you think is speaking in this sentence? Who is the speaker here? Mother. It is mother that is speaking. Mother. Not Jane. It is mother. Remember, we have said the reporting verb is in the middle. So, it is mother that is speaking. So, our reporting verb, therefore, will take the noun mother together with the verb said. So, said mother is the reporting verb. So, our, our reporting verb is said mother so break the two between jane and said mother there should be commas so we have opening speech mark right with me opening speech mark capital j jane comma close said mother comma opening speech mark is a lazy girl full stop close so you see, the statement is, Jane is a lazy girl, said mother. But the reporting verb is breaking the statement into two. Remember we said in this type of reporting verb, the, the, the reporting verb breaks the statement into two parts. So we say, Jane, comma, close, said mother, comma, open, is a lazy girl full stop and close. That is medial reporting verb. Now, look at this statement. You will see that in this statement, Jane, the first part, cannot stand on its own. It, for, for Jane, the first part to make sense, we must put it together with is a lazy girl, isn't it? You cannot say Jane and then stop there. You will not make sense. So for Jane to make sense, we must have is a lazy girl. So this type is called the interrupted medial reporting verb. The interrupted medial reporting verb. Here you will end after the reporting verb with a comma, open, and start with a small letter. And start with a small letter. The lesson ends in one second. I want you to rejoin in two minutes so that we continue. One second, the lesson is going to end. Then rejoin in two minutes so that we continue. Okay. 
We join the lesson in two minutes so that we can continue just as we did yesterday. Thank you for listening and see you uh, in two minutes. Thank you.